Hello and a very warm welcome, round 21 of this, this enthralling F1 season. And today we have a track guide of the new Saudi Arabia circuit. Um, yeah, we're struggling to even build this track on time. Finally, they've got it done. Still a little few tweaks needed, but yeah, this is Saudi Arabia. Now, of course, we don't know too much about this track. Luckily, it got added to the F1 game and we can go around Saudi Arabia. I'm still getting used to the track, so I'm not that quick. But as you can see, the first turn, very simple. You've got a lot of line corners, left and right, very fast. Will be easily 80% throttle. Um, slipstream could be key in quality and we could also see quite a lot of track limits. So, three DRS zones, 50 laps, and yeah, this is going to be pretty epic to see F1 cars go around here. It's going to be so fast. As you can see, look how quick it is. I mean, literally, the perfect way to describe this track is a high-speed Azerbaijan. That's literally what it reminds me of. When we start a new lap, we'll go... Um, I'll talk you around it, but... Yeah, mainly it's about bringing the gameplay out so people can get a look at the circuit. Of course, looking forward to practice because practice sessions are going to be action-packed. But 50 laps around here, the engines are going to take an absolute pounding around here. And surely it's going to benefit the Mercedes. Must win for Lewis Hamilton again. So let's go for a lap of Saudi. Coming down the start finishing line, DRS wide open as we approach turn one, which should be very quick in these modern day F1 cars. Um, yeah, throw it in left hander right, pit exit on the left, and yeah, here we go on the roller coaster that is Saudi Arabia. And then into this blind corner, now this is going to be very quick. Um, yeah, a lot of left and rights, another blind corner coming up. Um, yeah, you lose track of where you're going, and I believe track limits could be an issue. That's why I did that on purpose, by the way. Um, yeah, open DRS. Now, this is one of my favorite corners coming up. Reminds me a lot of Zamvort. Breaks so late. M bank corner. Beautiful. And we've got some circuit changes at the next race also. Uh, featuring an M bank corner. This is a tricky corner. I couldn't get used to this corner, but very satisfying when you nail it. And now it's just basically on the throttle. You're going to be on the throttle for a good 20, 30 seconds in this phase because this corner coming up, I can't wait to see F1 cars go through it. It's almost flat. I wonder if they'll be able to take it flat. Could easily be on the throttle 30 seconds. Yeah. And then it's all about picking your breaking point for the last corner. Could see different lines into here. A wide line, a tight line. Good exit out. Overtaking opportunities. Now, of course, you look. The track is full of straights. Is it going to be easy to follow? That's the question. But yeah, really looking forward to this. Um, like, yeah, it's a brand new circuit, unknown for the teams. We're going to see a lot of action. Hopefully, you can join me. Practice one, two, three, quali, the race, and driver ratings for the Saudi Grand Prix. And, yeah, this is the last lap we go for. Track limits could be an issue through here, I believe. I believe drivers will be trying to push the limits and exceed. But yeah, this is my favourite corner on the track. You can break so late, carry so much speed in. Reminds me a lot of Zamfort. And then here we go. Just, yeah, when I first did this track, I just totally messed up this corner. Couldn't get used to it. And now we're on the throttle. How long are we going to be on the throttle? Are they going to be able to take it flat? You're just going left, right, left, right. It's like a roller coaster ride, chucking you around. The right into the left. Now this was so quick on the F1 game. I dread to think what it would be like in real life. And open DRS again. Three DRS zones, 50 laps. I can't wait for the Saudi Grand Prix. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, yeah. 
I like these unknown tracks. Um, yeah, it adds excitement. We don't know what to expect. Surely this track will be a Mercedes track. And yeah, like I say, must win for Hamilton. I hope he does win. Fastest lap too. And we go into the last round level on points. It's been an amazing season. I hope you can join me for the Saudi weekend. Comment down below your honest opinion of the track. I would say a high-speed Baku. That's the best way you can describe it.